Hello everyone. In this video today, we will talk about exclusive and non-exclusive patent license. These two terms are used very often in the industry at the time of patent licensing. So in this video, we will try to understand difference between uh, two of them and uh, the advantages and disadvantages of uh, uh, executing or getting into patent license agreements which may be exclusive or non-exclusive in nature. Generally speaking, uh, the meaning of license as a term is the permission. Uh, when you grant a license, you give a permission to somebody to do a particular task. So when it is a patent license, that means a patent owner is granting permission to somebody. And this somebody may be an industry, it may be a company. So patent owner is granting permission or license to industry to, uh, to uh, make use or sell the patented invention. It's important to understand what are the kind of rights which are granted to patent owner once the patent is granted. So patent owner gets right to prevent third parties from making, using, selling, offering for sale and importing the patented invention in the country where the patent has been granted. So by granting a patent license, patent owner grants all these rights to the industry to whom the license has been granted. And this license may be exclusive or it may be non-exclusive in nature, depending upon the arrangement between two parties. Coming uh, to the difference between exclusive and non-exclusive agreement, the exclusive agreement can be granted only to one company by the patent owner, whereas the non-exclusive agreement can be granted to several companies. So this is the core difference between these two kind of agreements that exclusive can be granted only to one company, whereas non-exclusive agreement can be granted to multiple companies. It's very interesting to know that if the agreement is exclusive in nature, then the company can even prevent patent owner from using his own invention. So that's why the exclusive agreement is uh, usually very strict in nature and uh, the company to whom exclusive agreement is granted becomes almost owner of that particular uh, patent and they have all the rights to prevent patent owner himself from using his own invention. Uh, there are a few uh, very interesting rights which are granted to exclusive licensee. Uh, so exclusive licensee all, almost becomes uh, owner of the patent and he has almost same rights as the patent owner. He can prevent patent owner from using his own uh, patent and exclusive licensee can also initiate a lawsuit and it's very interesting to know that uh, the exclusive licensee can even submit working of the invention report to the controller of patents uh, every year. So this report has to be submitted to, uh, to the controller of patents by the patent owner every year to uh, let the controller know what he is doing with his uh, own invention. So if there is exclusive license between the patent holder and a company, then the company can uh, submit to the controller working of invention report every year. It's important both for patent owner and the company uh, to analyze pros and cons of uh, exclusive and non-exclusive license agreement before deciding the kind of agreement they are going to execute between them. I'm not saying that exclusive license is bad, but uh, but as a party to the agreement, whether you are a company or you are a patent holder, both the parties, they should know what they are getting into by uh, signing exclusive or non-exclusive license agreement. Thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope you found it useful. If you have any comments, feedback or any queries, you can put them in the comment section below. Keep innovating, keep growing. Good day. Thank you so much.